friends welcome back to my channel i hope you're doing well so since valentine's day is around the corner i got some amazing recipes to show you so we are going to start today with uh orange cardamom flan and i love this recipe because the combination of orange and cardamom just gives it a vibrant and amazing flavor and taste okay and here are the ingredients that we'll need to make the flan a half a cup of evaporated milk, a half a cup of condensed milk, two eggs, one fresh orange zest, I use the full orange, a teaspoon of vanilla extract or vanilla powder, I'm using the powder today, one tablespoon of cardamom, you can use a, a ground cardamom but I'm using the fresh ones and I'll show you how to crush it, and three fourth cup of sugar uh, that will be melting on a low heat on a pan for the caramel base. So for your cardamom, you can use your food processor or if you have a spice blender, you can crush it in there to get fine grounds. So it's very soft, so you just have to use your fingers to cut it open. And you'll find like small tiny seeds inside, like that. And then you just crush it until you get fine grounds. So for me, I use a uh, mortar and pestle and I just crush it in there until I get like fine grounds. So our next process is to blend everything in a food processor or a blender, except for the sugar. So the sugar is for our caramel base that I'll show you shortly. our evaporated milk our condensed milk our vanilla powder or the extract whichever you're using Our cardamom and our orange. I promise you, you are not going to be disappointed when you try these flavors. And our two eggs. Okay, once we have all our ingredients combined, we are going to blend it. And uh, for today, I am using an immersion blender, but you can use anything you have. Okay, our custard is ready. Next, I'm going to show you how to prepare the caramel base. You're just going to put uh, like 3-4 cup of sugar on a pan and cook it on a low heat. You're not going to stir it. Just put on your pan and wait for it until it's brown and caramelized and just shake it lightly. And I will warn you, you have to be really careful. Like don't touch the caramel because you can get burned really badly. Also, in the meantime, while we uh, wait for our sugar to get caramelized, we are going to boil water because we're going to bake this in a water bath. So I'm going to be uh, using ramekins today. And we're going to put our ramekins in a shallow baking pan and we're going to put our hot water inside. So I'll show you what it looks like when the caramel is browned up. Okay, our caramel is ready and it's nice and brown. So we're going to carefully uh, pour it in our ramekin cups. Okay, and we'll spread it evenly because it has a tendency to uh, harden right away. So we'll like do it quickly. So while preparing our sugar, we can preheat our oven for 350 degrees. And once we have our caramel base ready, we are going to pour our custard evenly all over the ramekins. And you can also make this in a round pan if you would like. 
or you can just use tiny ramekins like this as well. Okay, next we're going to pour our hot water in the pan. And don't fill it all the way in, just halfway. Okay, and um, and baking it in a water bath will give it a nice and smooth texture. So next, we are going to bake it in the oven for about 40 to 50 minutes. Okay, friends, next I'm going to show you the next process. So once they're baked, we're going to remove the ramekins from the water bath carefully, and we're going to let it cool for about one to two hours at room temperature, and we're going to place it in the fridge to let it cool longer. So we're going to take a knife and run around it. Take a pan, close the pan like that, and invert. Moment of truth. There we go. Look at this beauty. It smells amazing. It's so rich and creamy. The combination of the orange zest and the cardamom combined together is an amazing pair. Another tip that I can give you is if you don't want the seeds in your flan, you can use a strainer to pour out the custards when you pour it into your ramekins. But I find it to be more flavorful when the seeds and the orange zest are left inside. I hope you'll give this recipe a try and I hope you will enjoy it just like I do. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and see you next time.